Hello students, I am teacher Magna. Welcome back to another lesson in science. The name of the lesson is Food We Get From Plants. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about the different kinds of plants. Plants are all around us. They are everywhere. Plants appear in different shapes, sizes and color. Plants require air, water, sunlight and nutrients to survive. Every blade of grass, fern, moss, tree, flower that you see is a plant. Among these, plants grow. some plants grow on land and some plants grow in water. Big or small, on land or in water, from forest to deserts, plants are everywhere. Plants are important to us because without plants, we would not be able to survive as plants provide us with oxygen, food and various other things. Despite the fact that plants have the same parts and perform the same function, every plant is unique. They have different types of roots, stem, leaves, flowers, fruits and seeds. Plants are classified into different categories based on various factors. For today's lesson, we are going to learn about plants that are classified based on their size, shape and the structure of the stem. Now we are going to learn about the classification of plants. Classification of plants. Now plants are classified into two types, big plants and small plants. In big plants, we are going to learn about trees. And under small plants, we are going to learn about shrubs, herbs, climbers and creepers. Plants are classified into five types depending upon their shape, size and the structure of the stem. They are trees, shrubs, herbs, climbers and creepers. Let us study about these in detail in the following slides. The first one is trees. Trees have evolved to tower over other plants. They are big and tall plants. The four main parts of a tree are the root, the trunk, branches and leaves. Unlike small plants with soft flexible stem, trees have a very thick woody and hard stem called the trunk. The trunk is covered by an outside layer called bark. The bark protects the tree from all kinds of weather conditions and from being eaten by animals. The single main stem or trunk gives rise to many branches that bear leaves, flowers and fruits. Trees can live for many years. Some trees do not have branches, for example the coconut tree. It has only one main stem which bears leaves, flowers and fruits. Some examples of trees are the neem tree, pine tree, peepal tree, mango tree, coconut tree, oak tree, etc. Here is an example of a jackfruit tree. It has hard, thick, woody stems called trunk. The trunk divides into many branches. They stand straight. They can live for many years. Let us learn about shrubs. Shrubs are medium-sized woody plants. They are smaller than trees. They have thin and hard woody stems growing close to the ground. Although the stems are hard, they are flexible and they do not break easily. Unlike trees that have one trunk, shrubs have many stems growing from the ground level above. Shrubs tend to live for few years. Some examples of shrubs are lemon, bougainvillea, rose. If you notice the stems of these plants, you will see that they do not have only one stem, but they have many stems. Hibiscus is an example of a shrub. It has thin, hard, woody stems. They are smaller than trees. Let us learn about herbs. Herbs are small plants with soft, green and delicate stem. They have a short lifespan and can survive for one or two seasons. That is around three to four months depending upon the weather conditions. If they are well taken care of, they can last up to five to six months also. Herbs have few branches or sometimes are branchless, that is, they do not have branches. 
they can be easily uprooted from the soil. Herbs can be grown in small pots or in the ground. Some examples of herbs are grass, wheat, coriander. They are plants with soft, delicate stem. Banana plant is the largest herb in the world. Shocking, right? Though it is not very small in height, but due to its soft, non-woody stem, it is considered as a herb. Some herbs are used in cooking. They are called culinary herbs. The famous herbs used in cooking are rosemary, oregano, mint, basil, coriander, etc. They are used for flavoring and garnishing food. Herbs contain nutritional benefit like vitamins and minerals to make it a part of a balanced diet. Herbs are used to add flavor to our food. They are also used as garnishing. Herbs are used as medicines. Herbs are mostly known for their smell which is pleasant and amazing. Mint is an example of a herb. They are very small plants. They have thin and soft stems. This type of plants are climbers. Climbers are plants that climb up on trees and other tall objects. Climbers have very thin, long and weak stem which cannot stand upright all by themselves. They use support to grow straight. Some example of climbers are the pea plant, the grape vine and the most common plant you see around, the money plant. Plants like climbers use a special structure called tendrils to climb. Now what are tendrils? Tendril is a thin curling stem of a climbing plant which twines around for support. Usually they use a stick or sometimes even the walls of buildings for support. Money plant is an example of a climber. It cannot grow straight. They need support to grow and stand up straight. They climb on other plants or on walls. They have weak stems. Now let us learn about creepers. Creepers are plants that grow along the ground. They have weak, long and thin stems that can neither stand straight nor support all its weight. Some examples of creepers are pumpkin plant and the watermelon plant. Now since creepers have weak stems, they cannot take the weight of the plant and also they produce large fruits or vegetables. Hence, they spread out on the ground and grow. This is a pumpkin creeper. It has weak stems and it grows along the ground. They also have tendrils. Here's a small activity. Find out names of different types of plants in your surrounding and categorize them into trees, shrubs, herbs, climbers and creepers. I hope you all have understood today's video.